We need to get a handle on microbes in the food chain. If there's one thing more frightening to scientists than the stubborn, silent bacteria that can threaten the lives of thousands, it's how easily those germs can get around. It's estimated 2% of the world's population has moved to a new country in the last few years. And while that may not sound like much... That's over 200 million people that have moved to a new location. So that means that these infections we're talking about are global. And they're serious. So serious, in fact, that Dr. Larry Schlesinger started and runs a center dedicated solely to finding and fighting them. From their laboratories at Ohio State University Medical Center, over 50 scientists work on treatments for the next major outbreak. And while they don't know if it will be tuberculosis, malaria, or avian flu, here's some human cases, they will know where to find it. Using remarkable computer programs, another group of scientists at Ohio State can map cases overnight and even zoom in to street level to tell them who is infected, like they did in this map tracking avian flu. I can tell you where it came from in the world and what mutations are specific to that lineage such that it can be diagnosed rapidly. But diagnosing the disease is only half the battle. We also have to kill what causes it. The problem is many infectious diseases have evolved and are now resistant to our drugs, which is why this team is constantly looking for new therapies. You really don't eradicate infectious diseases. Um, you just tame them and they keep reemerging. Um, and if we're not smart, they'll win the battle, uh, not humans. At Ohio State University Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.